So if you are using an infrared remote controller with an infrared remote receiver on your Arduino, you may use the infrared remote library. And the thing is that recently, this library has bumped into a version 3. It was version 2 previously, now it's version 3. And this code, this code here is the code from version 2. The thing is that if you just install the library like this on your Arduino, this is going to install version 3. And if you try to run the code from version 2, you will have some error and you won't be able to make it work. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily make the transition between version 2 and version 3 of the library. So right now I have installed the latest uh, IR remote version, which is version 3 something, okay? And this is the code for version 2. So this is the code that you will find everywhere in every tutorial online, whether it's a YouTube videos or articles. Many of the tutorials still have this code, okay? It's going to update over time, but now that's the code you are going to find. And now let's upload this to the Arduino. So let's say IR remote v3. So this is version 2, the code of version 2 running with the version 3 of the library. And now if I open the Cyan monitor, so here I'm just printing the uh, result, okay? If I open the Cyan monitor and you can see we have some weird error. So this is an error you probably have. The function decode result is deprecated and may not work as expected just use decode without any parameter. And so the error here doesn't really make a lot of sense because it's not just uh, because you do this that it's going to work. Okay, this is going to fail. If I verify the code and if I upload the code, this is going to fail as well. Okay, when I press some button, I always get a zero here. All right. So I need to change the code for version 3. So first I'm going to go to Tools, okay, and Manage Libraries. And let's find our, our remote. So you can find the remote library here from the Library Manager. And you can see now I have version 3 installed. If you want to use the version 2 code, okay, you may want to use it. And then in that case I recommend that you switch to version 2.6.1. So you can click here, you can click on install, and that's going to install version 2.6.1. And in that case, you can keep this code here, actually uh, with the result in the decode, but you can keep this code and it's going to work well. But now, of course, I'm going to uh, update to the latest available version. And I'm going to change the code and show you what you need to change in your program. Okay, so that was the code for version 2. So for version 3, first, the header doesn't change. Then you define a pin, okay, that is the same. So for me, that's pin number 7. And then you have here IR receive and decode results. This, I'm going to remove that. So we don't have any global variable anymore. Now in the setup, so the serial uh, doesn't have anything to do with the receiver. And then instead of using this line, I'm using IR receiver like this dot so I uppercase and R uppercase dot begin and I provide the pin number. So that's how you are going to initialize the library with the version 3. And then in the loop, so the structure is very similar. We first use decode, but of course this we don't have this object anymore and we don't have results anymore. So what we do is IR receiver dot decode without any parameter and then we do ir receiver dot resume so we use this okay this is going to be found inside the ir remote library and then to get the data so we don't have a result structure anymore so to get the data we can do ir receiver dot and then so decoded ir data dot comment and this is going to return an integer so you can store it as an integer if you want to so make sure you use the correct case okay here make sure you check and use the correct case it's very important 
And now if I upload the code to the Arduino, down uploading and now I open the serial monitor and let's press on the play button for example and you can see now I have a number so here it's for uh, number zero here number one number three the play button and then up and down arrows so now I have some data which is different from each button that I press so of course you are going to get different numbers okay depending on your infrared remote controller each controller is different and well now you know how to make the transition from version 2 to version 3 so basically if you have a big program okay running the IR remote library well you just need to change a few lines of code okay remove the global variables that you have here and then change one line in the setup and then change a few lines okay when you read the data but the rest is going to be the same if you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.